Okay, so now here we are for the wing assembly. Switch it to the page. Wing assembly. Wing assembly is right here. You notice that it has uh, basically you slide this uh, carbon fiber spar into the wing right here. Like so, it kind of bottoms out. And then you join the other one too. But notice all the wires here. You've got a it's like a one aileron flap, aileron flap one L two for the lights. Over here you have the same thing. You got aileron flap a one. When you look at the model on the inside, you can see the same thing. There's there's a one and L two. And um, well, heck, you don't know which is which, right? So you got to look at the channel there. There's channel 2, this one's plugged into, and channel 6. When you look in here, you can see that channel 6 is the flaps, and then channel 2 is the ailerons. I don't think, from my, from my experience, it doesn't matter you know, when you're hooking the ailerons, you know, you, you can't mess these up. All you got to do is make sure you're, you're putting the brown wire for each lead on the brown wire right here. So I think you're good to go in that way. So we're going to slide this wing together. So, I don't know why it's not fitting in there, there's like a little bump in there. Boom right there. And just start connecting these up. I just tilt it up here on the table like this. So we know, going back from the instructions, that the flaps are channel 6. Uh, here's, right here is channel 6. So flap and flap. Let's see which one I got in my hand. This is flap. Brown and brown. Easy day. Brown and brown. There's another flap right here. So there's another flap. There it is here. So we'll put that right there. So it's kind of a pain. This one is aileron. So we know aileron is basically channel two. Channel two. Within instructions, it's two or three. So it's right there, closest to ground. So. Brown on brown. controllers from my other aircraft and I'm kind of cool to put it in but here it is this is a basically your lighting system and L1 and L1 very simple brown on brown there it is L2 Looks like it's it. We've got all the wires connected, and we're gonna hope. It's like it fits in there. We're just like that. You're just gonna stuff that wire mess all inside here, like that. Stuff it all in there, and then 
these two white keys fit like that. A little, a little bit cumbersome. Stick the wings on and then you take this to join the wing. in here like that. And the phone is ringing. instructions. I don't think so. Let me just spin tight on you. Okay, so basically what I did is I uh, was able to put all the, the, the pins together. Uh, there's a there's a white groove in here. This this basically just snaps in there and that holds the wing together. One of the the biggest complaints between the the tundra versus this is the that on the on the tundra you have a you have basically a strut going from here to underneath the wing, which this is, does not. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, the tundra, my friend has it. Um, this one's I think is for what I what my thoughts are is that it's got the softer landing gear. They both take off and land about the same from other videos I've seen. Um, this one's got lights, which is kind of cool. So maybe at dusk you can. You play with it around the um you know at night maybe um and also this one's got the safe flight built into it and i'm a good proponent of that even for some reason um your your aircraft is doing something kind of weird you can put it in safe mode and know you can return it home uh safely and get it on the ground um, i had an experience like that um, already from my uh with my sportsman plus which is over here kind of upside down just staying out of the wind so yeah that's it i'm gonna do now is buying the radio Okay, yeah, timber radio setup. So basically what I did is I went in here, I hit the, uh, the button in here, went into system setup, are you sure? Yes. Then um, I went to model select, and then I added a new model, which I've already done. You can see the timber there. So I'm not gonna do that for time's sake here. So um, I go back, then uh, here's the timber, I go back into system setup, and I'll show you what I did. I went into, uh, it says here to go to, I got the DX6. So I went into airplane. Basically, you go into airplane. Uh, let's find airplane. System setup. Yes, but I'm still in the timber, so. Uh, aircraft type. You'll notice that I put, you just scroll this button back and forth until you get it to say, wing one, flap one, which is exactly what it says to do here and here, right? Then that's good to go. So then I went back, back, hit this button here, and this is the function list. You might be looking in here going, where the heck is the, where's the function list, right? So then I basically went down to flap system, went into the flap system, and you, you notice that it says the, the flap positions, right here it says flap positions, Minus, look at that minus 100. Don't forget to see that. It's minus 100. Actually, when you get on here, you'll see it and you'll scroll to the minus 100. Elevator zero, position uh, one, two. You set up the switch, uh, which is, you set up the, the switch, which is uh, switch D. Switch D, you'll notice that there's the different positions. This moves it up and down. See it move all up and down. That's how you, you switch them and you just scroll this over here back and forth to wherever you want and you just make them exactly what they say it's pretty darn easy when you're done with that you want to go back to uh, uh, your expos you uh, want to set up your expos you go to aileron click on aileron and then i set up the switch here switch f is this switch here you can see it goes back and forth you can see it goes 100 70 percent if you're doing this for a while you know kind of what to do you go 
click on there again you go to elevator do the same thing make a switch set up there's 70 to 100 percent just like it says right here you want to you want to do that for this that's it in a nutshell everything's kind of set up i'm going to set it up with the safe bind you got to read the instructions here on how to do that but it's a binding process and we'll do that next okay now we're going to bind the timber i've got my flight battery right here i've got the uh basically the you know, the power lead here to the motor, the ESC. I went in ahead and installed the uh, the bind plug right there. You can see it down there. That was a little bit of a pain. I went ahead and used these pliers to put them in there. Needle nose with a 90 degree angle. So looking back in here, I'm going to set mine up with safe select. You can you can disable this if you want, but I'd like to have my aircraft safe. Or you can just do AS3X with stability control either way, right? So from reading through the directions, everything's pretty much the same except for you remove the blind the bind plug after you basically uh oh, quite a bit of wind here. Quite a bit of wind. So um yeah. So what it says to do is uh Make sure it's powered off. Make sure they're transfer my transmitter is turned off over there. Uh, so the bind plug, I told you that I did the bind plug inside there. Place the level ground. Yep. So then I'm gonna put the power on. Forgive me because my GoPro battery went dead. So we're doing it like this. I'm gonna hook it up. We should hear. At this point, we're gonna uh, hook up the battery. We'll produce a series of sounds: one long tone and three short tones. There it is. So at this point for the safe time, it says uh, once it's done that, you remove the bind plug and then from the port. And then you step back and then you bind it like you regularly would. For the AS3X, it's different. You leave the bind plug, it says do not remove the bind plug. Then you would go back step three steps away and then bind it with your radio. So we're gonna do the safe. We're gonna pull the, the bind plug now. Bear with me. Make it in here. Pull the bind plug. Gonna reach in here. Reach in here and pull it out. There we go. Let's pull it out. Just for safe keeps, I'm gonna go back in here and make sure all the servo stuff is is okay. And everything is still connected. It's still green. So I mean, still still orange flashing. So as a uh, now we'll go back and receiver will balance transmitter when the orange light is on, the receiver stays orange. So I'm gonna do the three steps back. I'm gonna hold the uh, the bind. Sorry guys. Sorry for the bad video here. Gonna take this bind plug right here, hold it, I'm gonna flip this back, flip this on. So, and I'll step back. You gotta step back. If you're too close, it won't bind. That's it. Bind complete. Being able to let go now here. Uh, sounds like we're good to go. Yeah, we got a solid orange light right there. That's the rudder. Looking good there. Rudder. Left, right. Man, we're looking, we're looking good. I'm afraid to touch the throttle right now because I don't have anything here to hold it down right now and I don't have somebody to help me. So that's it. We're bound.